If we begin with that big update in Teller County, the High Park fire is now 70% contained tonight. That news delivered to a very appreciative crowd at a town hall meeting in Cripple Creek this evening. A new size up puts the fire at about 1,572 acres tonight. But there haven't been any changes to evacuation or pre-evacuation orders. Orders are still mandatory for homes in Cripple Creek Ranches, Mount Pisgah, and Lakemore West. Also, Cripple Creek Mountain Estates South and West of Teller Road 1 and Lost Borough. Pre-evacuation orders remain in effect for Cripple Creek Mountain Estates north and east of Teller 1, Lost Canyon, Monarch, and the Rhyolite Mountain Mesa. The sheriff's office still reminding residents in those areas they need to be ready to leave their homes at a moment's notice if there is a sudden shift in weather. With crews now gaining the upper hand, concerns are now turning to emergency funding in Teller County. The High Park fire has already depleted much of the county's contingency fire fund, raising questions about the rest of what could be a long fire season. KRDO News Channel 13 Spencer Soysher has learned there is an agreement to declare an emergency for the High Park fire. Spencer joins us from downtown Cripple Creek to explain what that means. Bart, at tonight's town hall meeting, about 75 people just stood up and started clapping when that containment figure was announced. There have been a lot of resources that have been poured into fighting this fire, and now the county is going to get the help that they need as far as paying for it. Buried in steep terrain, fighting the High Park fire has been anything but easy. It's also been anything but cheap. We blew through our contingency fund. Taylor County Commissioner Dan Williams says the county has gone through its firefighting resources for the entire season on just the first few days of the High Park fire alone. So the very next morning at dawn, here came the first heavy uh, aircraft with Red Slurry, uh, the Type 1 and Type 2 helicopters. Um, that support matters. Williams and the Board of Commissioners asked Governor Jared Polis and the state to declare an emergency. Once authorized, the state would take on the costs that the county can't afford. On Tuesday, Williams got his wish, a handshake agreement from the state. When you're sitting here in mid-May, as, as you said, we got a long fire season ahead of us. He says the state has agreed to take on any costs after the first 24 hours of the High Park fire. Sheriff Jason Mikesell says you can thank those resources and firefighters for that 70% containment number. But what about the rest of the season? Our biggest concern is what happens later because we're burning through resources now and money and different things. So I think that's the big issue is just knowing you know, what, what, what are the outcomes that we're looking for. So while the High Park fire is now essentially paid for, Teller County leaders would still like the reassurance of a statewide emergency declaration. We also know we have to be accountable to the taxpayer. And so these folks that you saw tonight want to know that we can still fight fires at the county level. Now, officials caution that the High Park fire is not entirely over yet. There's still some concern about the forecast on Thursday when high heat and strong winds are set to return. But there definitely is a sense of optimism here in Teller County now. Reporting live in Cripple Creek, I'm Spencer Soysher for KRDO News Channel 13. Good point. All right, Spencer, thank you.